Oh, without question. So one of my favorite shock and awe demos uh, is, is not terribly expensive. Um, one of the best sounding sort of above entry level but medium price speakers for seven, eight years now has been the KEF LS50. Whether that's your ideal speaker at 1500 or 1500 euro uh, is, is immaterial. It's a very, very well crafted product. And it's obvious uh, flaw, if you will, it's obvious limitation is it simply doesn't extend particularly deep. And uh, carefully set up a pair of LS50s can sound pretty holographic, very fast, very detailed. But when you're lacking that body, it, it, it isn't terribly convincing. You, you're impressed at an intellectual level, but not all the way through. You're listening to it going, yeah, it's, it's, it does a lot of things really well. And there's always this hanging butt. And, and all you have to drop in initially is a single T7i, which over here sells for about $1,000, probably sells for a little bit more in Europe. Uh, and and it, it's instantaneously transformative. It, it takes five seconds for people to just go, <laughs> Okay, game, set, match, we're done, right? Because all of a sudden, it's not just that there's bass, you can hear all of the good things about the calf made better, right? Because now you've got the meat, the, the, the structure of richness that starts to underpin, and if at times without it, it sounds threadbare and a little lean, suddenly you're listening to a piece going, you know, the combination now is only something like $2,500. And you're thinking, if you, know the, if you know the market and you're really a critical listener, you're going, this is, this is killing any $5,000 speaker on the planet. This is a whole different game. And it's not the bass. It's the fact that the bass conjoins with the upper bass, which conjoins with the, mid, the, the middle ranges and the high frequencies. And all of a sudden, it all ties together into a whole that makes sense. Yeah.